an interesting thing about you also is it seems that you've been influenced by sort of post-left thought. One obvious association that people normally make with communism is they associate it with leftism. Uh, but you seem to be somewhat critical to the left. So what's wrong with the left? And how, how can you separate that from communism? The first thing that I think is wrong with the left is that it's a very, very vague term. And I suppose you could say that communism and anarchism are too, but not in the same way. Because if you watch the news, people talk about people like Nancy Pelosi if, as if she's a radical leftist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or something like that. And any political category that can run the gamut from Stalin to Nancy Pelosi is not a very useful one, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> but <laughs> to be a little more serious about it, I, I think that leftism is really much more a series of capitalist managerial strategies, different ways to manage capital itself rather than an ideology or a political theory that's actually concerned with social change. Yeah. So some people have said this about Marxism. Some people say that it's a it's a theory of capitalism. Yeah. Sort of bound by it. No, I was just reading something about this the other day. I wish I could remember what it was. But no, I agree with you. I mean, obviously, Marx wrote the book on capitalism. And, and not to unfairly demonize Marxists or Marx himself, but I think that's one of the ways that Marxism can tend to such an authoritarian direction because Marx said quite a lot about capitalism but said almost nothing at all about what communism might or should look like. It's there if you want to go through his works. You can find scattered statements here and there, but Marx was much more concerned about an analysis of how capitalism works than what communism would look like or how communism would work. Mm -hmm.